Hi, I'm Joe Mastriano, CPA. And if you're attempting to resolve any IRS problems, I urge you to listen to this very important message. I own a licensed professional CPA firm that specializes in resolving IRS problems. Over the past 30 years, I've worked on literally thousands of tax cases. I've learned a lot about the IRS and the tax industry. So I want to give you this message and have you give it your serious consideration. I will make three important points and then on to exposing misleading claims from companies that are not licensed CPA firms. The first point is the knowledge required to effectively resolve IRS problems is very specific, but it doesn't require the person with the most impressive list of credentials to do the job. So an ex-IRS attorney or auditor with 25 years of service with the IRS may not know exactly how the collection division works. They may not know the new procedures currently followed by the audit or other divisions either. Solving IRS problems requires specific up-to-date knowledge. This knowledge is gained from working many cases similar to yours. We have that knowledge. The second point is, it's important to choose the right company who has that specific knowledge. I strongly urge you to only consider a law firm or CPA firm professionally licensed by the state they are in. When the firm is policed by their professional state board, only then do you have the highest level of assurance of quality ethical work. We are a licensed professional CPA firm. The third point is, over the past 10 years, many non-professionally licensed companies have sprung up all over the country, creating a bad name for companies who specialize in IRS representation. People, out of their desperate need for tax resolution, forget that a CPA who specializes in IRS representation is a CPA first with all the responsibility and integrity that CPAs are known for. You must be aware of the gimmicks used by these unlicensed companies. I urge you to contact us now at 713-774-4467 to discuss the benefits of what my CPA firm can do for you. Or you can continue listening as I expose some of the misleading claims by non-licensed CPA firms. The Better Business Bureau scam. I know companies that plaster their BBB rating all over their website pages. They mislead consumers into believing that because they have a high rating that the BBB has approved their company. Well, we have a high BBB rating, but a high Better Business Bureau rating means that a company has consistently followed their policies concerning customer service. I know a competitor with an A-plus rating who makes aggressive attempts at resolving customer complaints. However, I've read several internet complaints concerning their poor quality work. The BBB has made attempts to educate consumers so that they understand that the rating is for customer service, and in no way are they vouching for the quality of work, integrity, or licensing of the company. Customer service is definitely important, but if you stop there when considering who to hire, you may be a victim of poor quality and inexperienced representation. I know, I get phone calls from people complaining that they trusted the rating and are now very disappointed at the results of the service. 
Another scam is that I've seen people involved in companies with poor BBB ratings, and they simply start a new company. The new company is immediately assigned a high rating. After a few years, when they destroy that rating, they start the process again. That is why I say you should only consider the ratings of companies in business for at least 10 years so you know it's not a new company. Also, don't rely on the BBB listing of the company for the number of years in business. I have reason to suspect competitors have lied to them about the length of time in business. The Better Business Bureau has been accused of skipping verification of this information. And now the flat fee money back guarantee, guarantee tax reduction scam. Over the years, I've watched companies come and go in this business, each trying to appeal to what the consumer wants just to get their business. Their marketing group will study consumer behavior and realize that many people are scared and don't trust their own judgment when selecting a representation firm. They find out that people are also afraid of being overcharged. So they come up with a flat fee arrangement. But flat fees don't work for representation cases. I'll tell you that I've personally spoken to many people over the years who have been given flat fees. They fall into two categories. Number one, they were overcharged. Or number two, they were underquoted and the case was rushed and the client suffered. Why put in time and effort to go the extra mile for your customer if you're not getting paid for it? I've found that money-back guarantees either have fine print clauses that make it ineffective, or they're used by companies who are new to the business, or companies training clerks to do professional work. If their trainee makes a mistake, then they offer to give you some money back. The problem with that is that the damage done often costs you more money than the money returned, especially after you have to contact the company several times to make a formal claim. Penalty removals are also usually automatic or very hard to get. It's totally at the discretion of the IRS. I've heard many stories from consumers who paid good money to representatives based on a guarantee of lowering taxes, only to be discouraged when they were told, sorry, the IRS just didn't want to do their job and grant it to you. Well, we have been very effective at reducing taxes for our clients but only when they really qualified for it in the first place. We are the best, most experienced, largest IRS representation firm, SCAM. There is no accredited or accepted rating service for companies that perform IRS representation. When you think about it, how can anyone know who is the best or the most experienced or the largest? It makes no sense. And how do you decide if a company should be considered? I know some large national CPA firms who do a decent volume of IRS representation for their wealthy clients. They don't directly advertise that they do IRS representation. Are they considered in the comparison? I'll bet they're larger, better, and more experienced than any of those representation companies you see on a list of the so-called top firms in the industry. Who are they trying to kid? Some of them have gone as far as telling people they are listed number one or number two on a site that rates IRS representation companies. As one of my competitors boasts on their website, the rating sites are owned by the companies that are listed as the best. 
Stay away from any company trying to get your business by claiming that they're the largest, most experienced, and the best choice in the whole United States. Don't be scammed. Tax resolution is mostly at the discretion of the IRS. No company has an unfair advantage over any other. These are all gimmicks. Nothing will take the place of knowledge, experience, and professional responsibility gained over many years of practice by a licensed law firm or CPA firm. Not an unlicensed company that has attorneys and CPAs on staff. The company itself should be licensed as a CPA firm or law firm. Only then are they regulated by a professional state licensing board. That is how you have the best assurance of ethical quality work. We are a licensed professional CPA firm for over 30 years. Add that to the thousands of successful tax cases and the excellent reputation we have, and that makes us a good candidate for your serious consideration. So why not put my many years of successful IRS experience and excellent reputation to work for you right now? Don't settle for inexperience and scare tactics. We can help you resolve your IRS issues before the IRS resolves it for you, in their own way and to their own satisfaction. Call me right now at 713-774-4467. Thank you.